Hey guys, it's Dr. Sloan from the farm again. Here we have Mia. She's joining me for another uh, video this week. And uh, last week, Mia and I went over some respiratory patterns. So if you missed that, go ahead and check that YouTube video. Uh, but this week, we're going to go over some extension. Um, extension is one of my favorite things to look for in a gymnast because it's one of the most prevalently dysfunctional patterns. And it can cause some of the biggest mm, headaches in gymnastics, I guess you could say. Um, so Mia is going to show us the correct way to extend and then the incorrect way. So I want you to be able to line your gymnasts up and just say, hey, hands overhead. Don't give them any cues. Just say, go and bend backwards. When they bend backwards, you're going to look for a couple few things. Um, if you see those, try to clear them up or find a professional in your area that can work with them. Um, we do that here at the farm uh, every time a gymnast comes in. So let's get to it. I want Mia to stand. Let's go right here. All right, go arms over your head for me. Mia's going to do a correct extension. So go ahead and bend backwards for me. Beautiful. And back up. And go ahead and put your arms down. Let me explain this. When you watch a gymnast bend backwards, and it can be gymnast, crossfit, or anyone that's using this position, your everyday um, weekend warrior as well. But whenever we extend backwards, we want to get a nice continual arc in the back. You want to see uh, this beautiful bowing of the back. Think of the back as a stack of building blocks. Each one of those blocks needs to bend a certain amount. We don't want one block to be doing way too much of the work. Think about a group project. If you're in a group project with four members and one member is a little lazy and they're taking the day off. One member has to make up the work, right? So they're not sharing the load appropriately between the work or between the members. That's what our back does. So she's going to do an incorrect extension, arms up. And we've worked with this, so it's a struggle for her to do it incorrectly now. So let's see if we can do it incorrectly just this one time, okay? All right, so go ahead and bend back for me. Good. We're going to see this um, hinge right here. It's almost very angular. This, this is a lot of the workload. All right, stand back up. If we did, you can put your arms down. If we did that correct extension again, you're going to see that nice distribution of load throughout the back, that nice bowing, that nice arch. She did the incorrect one. This is where most of the workload is being produced in the low back. Um, so this is typically the area that's going to be sore. It's going to feel bruised. Um, this is going to this is going to ache. So think again of the distribution of work throughout the spine. You want it to be equal throughout. Um, how does that feel when you do the incorrect one versus the correct one? <laughs> it feels good to do the incorrect one? No. <laughs> there we go. All right. So again, arms up. Don't give them a lot of cue. Just say, hey, bend back. Do a correct one for me. And that's going to feel a lot better for the gymnast. It's going to be a prettier line, and it's going to distribute the load and the, and the work the workload throughout the spine a lot more evenly. Okay, so that's extension pattern next two week. We're gonna look at flexion pattern, so give them a little preview of that. Go and bend forward all the way to your toes. That's a flexion, we'll talk about that next week. All right guys, hey, I want you to share these videos with all of your friends, so we're gonna do a little contest. Go ahead and um, share this video, comment on it, and the next week Mia's gonna pick someone to give this shirt away. Um, this shirt's a farm shirt, and it's for all of our gymnast, uh, gymnasts here at the farm, so we wanna give this away to you guys. So I will see you all next week where we'll talk about flexion.